All right, Yoon Jin, Raiden Shogun's daughter. She made me cling and a f***ing sting, but deserves the ring because she'll swing like a king. At least compared to that noodle thing. Oh, and the girl knows how to sing. Alright, starting with her elemental abilities. Elemental skill. I would call this full counter, but I gave that to Beidou, so we'll give her a different name. Come on, anime knowledge. Pop off now. Ah, uh, no. 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 No, 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 no. Full counter, but the other one. This ability has a tap and hold. The tap just slashes the enemy with geo damage. The hold version gives Yunjin a shield based on her own HP, which has a 150% effectiveness against all damage, and it protects Yunjin while she's in this stance. When its duration ends, or when the shield breaks, or when you manually release it, Yunjin will unleash the charged energy, dealing geo damage based on her own defense and the time spent charging. There's a level 1 charge and a level 2 charge, but honestly, it's super easy to get to level 2. You just have to hold it for like 3 seconds, and yeah, so honestly, you don't have to worry about this. Elemental Burst! Cliff Breaker. What a cool name. Not because I can't think of any names or, you know, fucking anime flags. Yunjin deals AoE Geo damage and grants nearby party members with four of these flags, which is actually a representation of a warrior in Chinese opera. Very cool. Now my Diona's a warrior. While this ability is active, Yunjin will buff your normal attack damage based on her defense and when your normal attack hits an enemy. So it will only buff your normal attack. Remember this, only your normal attack. The duration of this ability is 12 seconds, but you can end it sooner when you do a 30 hit combo. But in case you misunderstand, when you hit one enemy, that counts as one hit. And when you hit two enemies at the same time with your normal attack, that counts as two. But no matter the case, after 12 seconds, it's over. So just hit as many enemies as possible. You probably don't even have to worry about this 30 hit combo thing. <sighs> Every day's the same. Stir fried shrimp day in and day out. No matter how they prepare it, it always tastes the same. Ugh, ghastly. I really can't stand it anymore. Wait. Moving on to passive talents. Passive 1. Using full counter at the precise moment will unleash its level 2 charge form, but very unnecessary because it's really easy to get to level 2 charge form. Passive 2. Oh no, she's not a Geo Supremacist. The normal attack damage bonus granted by Cliffbreaker is increased up to 11.5% when the party has more variety with elements. So yeah, kind of a bummer, but yeah, wow, what a big difference. Passive 3. We can finally make double stamina food. Yes! I definitely make them. All right, story time. Yoon Jin is the owner of the famous Yoon Han opera troupe, who's not only one of the best performers in Liyue, but also the writer for her own plays. But Yoon Jin has a secret hobby. She loves listening to rock and roll. So she's often seen at Shin Ye's performance, but she doesn't like to be noticed because the elders will act like Moving on to Constellations. Constellation 1, full counters cooldown is reduced by 18%. Constellation 2, your Cliff Breaker normal attack damage buff is increased by an additional 15%. Constellation 3, Cliff Breaker becomes Titan Breaker. Wait. Constellation 4, when Yoon Jin triggers Garbage Reaction, her defense is increased by 20% for 12 seconds. Constellation 5, your full counter becomes Revenge Counter. Constellation 6, your Titan Breaker increases normal attack speed by 12%. Wow, those are actually really decent constellations for 4 stars. Nice. In her youth, my mother was a famous opera singer in Liyue Harbor, and I learned all the operas I know from her. But you could never imagine how strict she was with me as a teacher. Thinking back on it now, I... No, no, no. I'd rather not think about it at all. Guys, listen. 
Moving on to artifacts. For beginners, four-piece defender set is probably the way to go. Maybe two-piece berserker if you want to focus more on Yu Jin's counter damage. For end game, now I actually might collapse while I'm talking about artifacts, mainly because I'm going to bring up Archaic Petra. Uh, but before that, I would suggest the four-piece husk set. No argument there. You don't always have to be on the field with the set, and it's actually better if you're not on the field with the set. This is a powerful set for Yoon Jin, but then in the back of my mind, I was genuinely concerned about this picture where Yoon Jin is more stacked than Ito. But more importantly, the weapon choice for this art was very concerning to me. But I think it's okay to bring it up. Four piece archaic Petra. Oh god. Uh, technically, 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 you can use this. Is this the best though? No. Not even close. Even though Yoon Jin's passive promotes variety of elements, I still can't help but distrust this set, but I think it's appropriate to bring it up. First of all, let me explain this dumb set. With the four-piece archaic Petra, when you make a crystallized react, sorry, garbage reaction, you gain 35% damage bonus based on the element of the crystal. Yay, cool, right? That sounds amazing, Jay. Why is that bad? Okay, the game is now in a progression where enemies can pretty much run down Zhongli's shield with a, a, well, actually a couple of dozens of attacks, but I'm not saying his shield is bad. I'm just saying the enemies still do a lot of damage. Now, a long, long time ago, I tried to use Elemental Mastery on one of my Geo units with around 800-ish stats, and I went against Child. Child melted that shield. Child. Child melted that shield. It sucked. It melted like butter. Trust me. EM Geo is not worth it and then here's a set that relies on that weak ass shield yeah that is a hard pass and also yun jin's damage and buffing is based on her own defense so i think focusing on defense is probably way better so yeah get the husk set i'm sorry if you have to suffer here more with these skanks but this is the best set but if you're looking for more early sets i would say four piece noblesse uh if, if you want if you don't have a bennett uh two piece archaic and two piece noblesse if you want i guess if you can't complete the four piece set if you're worried about energy recharge i guess you can use exiles if you really want but i wouldn't rely on piece sets for energy recharge because the husk four piece is uh just great over overall for defense and you can cover your er pretty easily with a weapon but you can't cover defense with your weapon because there's no defense weapon in this game moving on to primary stats now i know yujin's accession stats energy recharge but i am not going to recommend the triple defense set because you have yujin in a team for her burst and to get her burst you need energy and you probably focused on her second passive so you probably have no resonance therefore you have to rely on yujin alone to get her own burst so for hourglass you do want energy recharge for goblet defense for circlet again crit rate or defense depending on your weapon choice for substats again depends on what you value more but crit rate defense is probably what you want to focus on and maybe crit damage if you want and probably er moving on to weapons there is no polar that has a defense primary stats so i'm guessing that's why they gave yujin that horrible weapon even though they have you know the racist spear but whatever also i think yujin's strength is definitely her burst and that is probably the only reason you have her in the team so energy recharge is probably the effective way to use Yu Jin. So for weapons, for five stars, Staff of Homeless, can't really go wrong with it, but also probably would use this on someone else if you're using Yu Jin as a support. And you probably will be, because even if you are building her for damage, you are still building her for support because of defense. Jade Spear, I would say no, because the ability is restrictive when she's on the field. Also, the crit rate isn't that much. Homicidal Nature Spear, this is for Shen He, and you probably have Shen He if you pull for this weapon, so, so give it to its rightful owner. Engulfing Lightning, same case as Shen He's weapon. Why do you have this if you don't have it right in Shogun? And Skyward Spine, a safe choice, high base attack, useful energy recharge stats, some crit rate and attack speed for ability, I, I guess. Moving on to four stars, credit card, same case as Staff of Homeless, really great spear that has somewhat of a defense increase for the ability and a lot of crit rate. Black Cliff, decent with crit damage and decent-ish with ability, but probably not the best for Yu Jin. Racer Spear, pretty decent depending on your team. Fishing Spear, great free-to-play option if you don't have an energy recharge weapon. Probably would use this on someone else. Favonius, this is probably what I would go with if you don't have Geo Resonance with you. Yun Jin's skill makes like three particles and her cost is 60, which isn't that bad. But I guess an easier way to look at this is uh, Goro. Yeah, think of her as a Goro. Energy recharge particles, blah, blah, blah. Star Glitter, energy and a bit of attack. This is what you would use if you don't have Favonius. Crescent and Dragon Spine, no. And then the famous weapon, that's featured with Yu Jin's art. No.
Where's that coming from? Moving on to teams. Now, believe it or not, there aren't that many characters that are reliant on normal attack. The ones I can think of is Child and Yoimiya, and it can't be right in Shogun because her burst auto is burst damage. Xiao, you plunge sometimes in auto, but I think you use your charge more than your auto. Hu Tao, mostly charge attack again, and I guess it depends on how you use it, but mostly it's charge attack. Ito, mostly charge attack. Maybe Rosaria, official. Eula, but if you have Eula with Yunji, you can probably kill your enemies without using your burst and you probably don't want to do that because Yun Jin's buffing won't change your burst damage in the first place so Ning Guang maybe I mean I'm probably going to use it like that and actually for Ning Guang by the way if you don't know the rocks that are roaming behind her those when you use your charge attack those actually count as normal attack damage so I think Ning Guang and Yun Jin can be used pretty well i think uh, most of them are pretty vague when it comes to normal attack so the easy choice would be these two and the others will really depend on how you play them and maybe with yunjin c6 bennett might not be so bad all right yeah she pretty much works in a specific normal attack teams and her passive promotes more variety so you can really be random with yunjin and just know that her role is mostly focused on normal attack buffing so make a team around her normal attack dps so if i'm making a yoimiya team for example i would put yunjin Jin, get a healer. Uh, Xing Chu maybe, but in-game cooldown is a pain in the ass, so I'll just put Fischl or something for overload. Uh, that's probably a decent team. Also, you don't necessarily have to give up on a resonance. The variety buff difference isn't that major uh, between three elements and four elements, like 7.5% difference between 11.5. It's it's not that big. Use uh, Shen Her with her if you really want, but I don't think there are too many cryo normal attackers in this game. Maybe Ayaka, but most of you probably just use her charge attack so i guess not really okay yeah sure because it's so easy to get her cryo conversion oh yeah razor yeah you can use razor oh i forgot about razor so how the do you play Yu Jin? Just play her like a Bennett and a Garo. She's pretty much a quick swap unit. And for those who's trying to make Yu Jin a DPS, you can go ahead and do that. But if you want to take advantage of her normal attack buff and use it for Yu Jin, I mean, guys, remember your normal attack is still based on attack. And if you're going to invest in your attack, then that means your buffing isn't going to be effective. So you're really limited to one choice. Probably the defense build is the wise choice. You can try and focus on her skill damage if you want. I might do that and give her a geo damage bonus goblet, but I'm stuck with a defense circlet anyway, so I can't do much there. But anyways, for tips, number one, you don't have to use the Beto counter mechanic and use your skill at the precise moment to counter, because getting charge two is really, really quick. This option is really unnecessary, I think. Number two, again, with the variety buff, don't worry too much about it. It's not that significant. Number three, play her like a Goro. Yun Jin's skill cooldown is decently long ish but without resonance it can be frustrating so if you have favonius on her which i think is the best choice and most of you might then just auto as much as you can number four you would usually use yun jin's skill for energy but you can technically use it like a oh shit button because it does give you a shield it may not be the most effective one out there but it does have a 150 percent effectiveness against all damage but it's probably better than nothing it kind of reminds me of this thing in warframe but that is it for the video guys hope you guys enjoyed if this did help you make sure to leave a like and subscribe join my discord server follow me on twitch and twitter i'll see you guys later bye bye guys